Hello guys and happy Friday. Welcome back to a new M um, Weekly. Just gonna tidy up my house and then I'm heading out for a lunch meeting at Dalesford, which is one of my favourite places ever. I've done an F45 class this morning with my friend who teaches that. Oh my gosh, I'm so stiff, I can barely lift my arms. Feeling fantastic. My washing is all out to dry, so I'm feeling like a domestic goddess. And I'm walking actually to my lunch meeting with my friend and her dog. I mean, who doesn't love a dog on a Friday and a workout? And then I have a gifted press appointment this afternoon for a facial with a celebrity facialist. Apparently she's done the Royals. <laughs> I'm not allowed to know who, but oh my God, this is so exciting. There's gonna be lots of extraction and I'm just very excited. I'm starting the vlog today. We're gonna have a little weekend vlog and yeah, come along with me. Hey, actually, this parcel just arrived from I saw it first and I'm doing a very exciting shoot with them later on in the week. So I thought I'd quickly show you some of the amazing things I ordered that are in this pile behind me. That's not mess, it's a pile of brand new clothes. I'm not gonna show you them all, but I ordered them from I saw it first for an exciting shoot I'm doing with them later in the week. They're working with emerging female talent and they're filming music videos with them and I get to help them style up the musicians which is very exciting. First things first, I could not resist ordering this gorgeous coat. How nice is the print of this? I'm absolutely here for The next coat I ordered was this one which is a nice wool coat and it's really nice and long to keep me nice and warm. Stupidly excited about this knit because it's just so comfortable and easy to wear. Yes, I've moved the stuff behind me. Yes, I'm gonna tidy my house again today um, because it's nice and high necked. It's super comfy, but then it has a little tie around the waist. This is a cute little two piece. You guys know I love my two pieces. Just super comfortable. Next up, firstly, I wanna show you this jumper. Oh my goodness, ultimate comfort goals just look at that it's so baggy and comfy and then i popped it with this little skirt and i absolutely love the skirt because it's stretchy and i just feel like this is a dream combo i was so excited to see that they had their winter accessories on the site i think this was like 350 i was so excited to order it so i got one of these because if you've been following me for a while you'll know all winter i wear these to keep me warm i can stop being so british and moaning about the weather but these are really high quality and actually really comfortable why in the headband still because i love it and i popped it on with some gorgeous leather jeggings because honestly who doesn't want to wear a big baggy jumper Still got my headband on, don't know why it looks so dark outside, a cloud has just come over, not going to take this off, still need to leave my house because as always I'm running really late, so the second special event that I'm heading to this week, later on in the week, so you'll see that as well in the vlog, a bit later on, maybe like 11-12 minutes in, um, as well as the house viewings. I'm heading to an event with KP, Nuts and Movember. They've teamed up with Movember, which is amazing, to raise awareness for testicular cancer. And I'm actually taking Matt with me. So it's gonna be a really, really cool event. It's actually a comedy night and I'm so excited because it's such a good cause as well. So now I'm gonna get changed. Ooh, I'm gonna go grab my friend and her dog and it's time to get on with my day. <gasps> Hello, gorgeous. Little dog walk with my angel, both my angels, two angels, and Georgie's got me a matcha. Look at the staff on her. You walk, Pa. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm very pale face because I've got no fake tan on and I'm very bare faced. But I want to talk to you about the treatment I just had. Let me go into my mirror. I just showed you my knickers. Hi, it's me down here. So I had the Haute Couture Signature Treatment by Linda Meredith. She's a celebrity facialist and honestly guys, I just called my mum and I also called my friend to tell them how good it was. So I feel very lucky that in my job I am often gifted treatments or facials and things like that and as I said this was a gifted press treatment and honestly that just blew me away so firstly oh that's someone at my door wait because it was Georgie with treats <laughs> treats look at this you're welcome and also what are these treats oh how amazing <gasps> hi pa I have guests because we have a very exciting night to head which I'll tell you about in a second so 
she is a celebrity facialist and she apparently delivers like the best facials ever and it was amazing it was only my second facial with extractions and I loved it so I went into the room and it was tailored to my skin so I like filled out a form I said that I've got loads of blackheads on my nose and I was like help me she put like steam all over my face and then it meant that everything came out and I learned so much she said I need to be putting a primer on every day to act as a barrier with my skin she also said that I need to be cleansing with an oil based cleanser first rather than second so I have a few of those and Neutrogena Hydro Boost ones oil based um, I've got an Elemis Balm one, I've got loads. So I basically learned so, so, so much. Attracted them and she massaged me and it was fantastic. And the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in London, which is where they did it, that is a phenomenal hotel. I want to stay there. And the service was amazing and it was just fantastic. But now, what are we doing? Pokeball! Pokeball time! I'm so excited. Look at this, guys. Oh, we got some Pokeballs! I went for everything, double fried onions. I was like, I really like them. So I'm very excited. And she just brought snacks. This is a dream. Thanks, guys. <gasps> Thank you, my gorgeous angel. Thank you. And now we're gonna watch some cute stuff and Crystal. eat. I love you. Do you love me? Because I love you. No, she doesn't love me. Mm -hmm. Guys, skin is feeling glowy. I'm just up and out at 7 a.m. to head to a Cobox boxing class. I have a little voucher left on my account that they kind of gifted me ages ago, so I'm going to use that and go with my friend for a nice little morning session. I've put some primer on this morning. I've gone with this one um, to add to the barrier. So let's see if this helps. I don't usually wear this much makeup in the gym, um, but I am today <laughs> because why not um so i'm kind of breaking my rules already we'll start fresh tomorrow but my skin feels great i'm really proud of myself for going to the spa yesterday and not putting makeup on straight away after i didn't put any on i just went to bed let my skin rest so we're going for brunch after and maybe a massage and then i'm viewing a house today which i'll tell you about later so oh and last night was super cute we just had really good food and watched we actually watched jamie oliver's christmas it was great <laughs> So, I've got some pancakes. How good are these look? These guys got the short straw with the smallest avocado toast I've ever seen. I just got back from Cobot. It's nice and sweaty and I bought Matt some breakfast. I got him some Pret Avo on toast because that's a thing now and I didn't know if he might also want salmon and eggs, so. And then I went to the Chelsea General Store and I bought myself this amazing pasta. So this was rice and quinoa. And this one is green pea fusies. Okay, so I'm showered, I've eaten lots of food and now which is time for me to go and view a house. I will see if I can show you it, and if I can show you some of it, then I will talk to you after about why. Matt, do you want to check? Yeah, that's us. He's actually uh, floored it all the way. Yeah, I'd change the carpet because the carpet, I'm not really a fan of grey. Guys. Look at the storage. Like, this is huge. We're talking London, so that's like bigger than most London flats. We're just in the second one now. Lots of light. Wow. This is like Georgie's. Oh, this is big. Guys, happy Sunday. My hair is very frizzy. You'll have seen a little glimmer into some houses yesterday. It's not really a secret, but I'm basically looking for somewhere new to buy, and I'm very, very excited about it. So I'm going to show you guys some more stuff in the vlogs. The good news is we did another big hunt last night, and we found some more houses. I felt like I found the one yesterday, and Matt's, Matt's laughing at me. Matt always says that I think I found the one, and then he gets really practical, and yeah, I just fall in love with every house I walk into. So, I have a few questions for the houses that we saw yesterday, and I might be going back on Monday to view another one a second time. So, I'm not going to give too much away, I'm just going to say, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed for me. Um, and I will try and keep you guys as updated as much as possible. So it's Sunday, we are going to head out for some lunch. Matt and I have booked ourselves into the Hawksmoor in Knightsbridge because it's meant to be the best Sunday lunch in London. However, I'm from Yorkshire. I know I bang on about the fact that I'm from Yorkshire all the time, but I'm Yorkshire proud. And we have the best Sunday lunch in Yorkshire, so let's see how it compares. As long as the gravy's good and they've got Yorkshire puddings, I am happy. Then we're meeting some friends at Dalesford for a coffee this afternoon. Let's go. Oh, and I'm wearing this because, oh my gosh, I am so pale underneath this. My neck is so pale. Oh, and also my skin is feeling great. I feel like the extractions are calming down and it's feeling great. So I'm happy about that. 
So this is my first Yorkshire dinner in London. Thank you. Let's see how it compares to my Yorkshire Yorkshire dinner. Let's see how much gravy there is because I think I'm going to need a double. Do you? Yes guys, defeated it. It's Harrods Christmas time, aka the best time of the year. Everything's so festive. I want a Joshua bag. Oh, Harrods have been calling them. Wow, Harrods do Dalesford hampers now. Fruit and nut sourdough looks insane. And then, Sherry. look at this, it's a tear and Sherry. They had some of these at Aldi, actually. How good, these look. You know I've never tried a panato, ever. Morning, guys. I've just been to a Cobox class. I had such a nice weekend. And I went to view a house for a second time. Don't think I'm going to go for it because I just think the top of it was a little too small and we've actually found another one on the same road. It's quite a lot more expensive but it's literally like double the size so I have a viewing for that in two weeks time. So I'm feeling super positive. I'm heading to a really exciting event, one that I told you about earlier in the week. I saw it first are holding a shoot day and they are searching for the hottest UK emerging town. I'm actually so excited to see this. It's going to be a good day indeed. Then I have a really exciting event tonight that I'm taking Matt to. It's a really, really important cause and obviously I'm taking him for dinner first. So first stop, I saw it first shoot day event and I love a shoot day. So they are filming a number of music videos today with the emerging talent and I've met some of the girls already and they are so nice. And we're currently in the dressing room. I'm gonna look through some of the things, maybe try a few things on. Look at these shoes. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Look how cool this dress is. I feel like if I was an artist, I would like to turn up on the stage right now. The area I'm in now is kind of an area where there are some interviews and stuff taking place that you just saw. How cute and nicely styled is this? And we're just choosing some of our favourite things to go on here. Look how nice this shirt is. And I'm going to link the stuff below. Also, these boots are from I Saw It First. How nice are they? Look how cool everything is on here. It's all from I saw it first. Oh my gosh. I love this pendant. So shoot day done and now I'm wrapped up for winter. It was such a good day. Now for my second exciting event of the week. Adam is actually just going to give me a lift to the tube station uh -huh. because I need to get oh the tube God. and it's very, very cold. Got my legs out, um, my boots on. I'm not wearing my knee house, so I'm not going to be able to walk that far in them. So I'm heading to an event with KP Nuts and Movember. As I mentioned earlier in the vlog, they have partnered this year to raise awareness of testicular cancer. And I'm taking Matt with me. You should be coming with me. Yeah, um, and the idea is, it's all, well, it's a comedy gig first and foremost, which is going to be really, really cool. And it's all about checking out someone at the door, checking your nuts. So I'm very, very, very excited to go. Gosh, the light's just come out. So I'm going to take you and show you everything. So let's go. Moon right here in Whitechapel. We are in for an absolutely fantastic night. I'm delighted to say that KP Nuts whoop, whoop, uh, got, together, got together with men's uh, health uh, charity Movember. It's becoming more popular than Christmas, so if you haven't got a beer, please for God's sake, get one, get sponsored, get involved. But they brought it together for literally a grab your nuts night. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. We are going to have a great time. You've got 95% success rate, but it kills one in 20 men. And although we're having a bit of fun tonight, there's some, you know, there's some great entertainment going on, and uh, there's some f the fake testicles in soaps and everything. That's the funny side of it. But there's also a serious side of it, you know. And, and I absolutely, I think it's imperative that men generally check themselves on a regular basis because 
If you don't, like I didn't, I knew there were lumps there, but I chose to ignore it. I chose to ignore the lumps for four years. So during that time, the lump on my testicles grew into a tumour and the cancer spread to my lungs and onto my brain. And I spent six weeks in hospital, literally fighting for my life. I had two emergency brain operations, I had two operations on my lungs, and I had a tracheotomy there. So it almost took my life, simply because the cancer had spread, because of the ignorance that I showed in terms of allowing the cancer to spread. <laughs> Love Island, is you single? Am I yeah. single, Jack? Oh, yeah. You're single, yeah, how long have you been single? Oh. Seven months. Seven months. Too long. Oh. What about you, Chris? Any takers? <laughs> Don't ask me that if I'm a taker, Jack. <laughs> Chris, what about you? You're in a relationship. Oh. From who? who with, oh, from Little Mick. Jesse from... Jesse, lovely Jesse. Oh, that was my nickname in school, Jesse, yeah. <laughs> I got bullied in school. The school bully, Sean Ryan in Grimsby, used to pick on me. And everyone would be like, I won't pick on Sean because he's hard, he is, he's hard. I won't pick on Sean, he's hard. And he'd have his little posse. And I said to my mum once, I said, I'm getting bullied really bad. And she said, you know what you need to do? You need to give him a taste of his own medicine. Let him know how it feels. I went, all oh, right, okay. Comes up to me one day, goes, all right, Lee. I said, Sean, listen. I wouldn't pick on me today because I'm hard. <laughs> oh Do you know what? He never went near me again. <laughs> Matt, what are you gonna do tonight? What are you gonna check? Check my notes. Yes! So tonight was really good. It was a comedy night with KP Peanuts and Mike Bember. And the idea is for me to tell you guys, to tell the boys in your life to check what? It was hilarious. It was such a good night. Yeah, it was really good. Really light-hearted, but important at the same time. So, yeah, very, very good. but it was important. And I said to Matt, now every time he has a packet of nuts, he'd be like, "Oh my god, I need to go and check my nuts." So as you can see, it's very windy, it's very cold. We're heading to the tube, and we are gonna head home. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday, it's super early as I have two events today. So last night I headed over to the city, we had an amazing dinner at the Ned, and then we headed to a press event with KP Nuts. They have partnered with Movember for a very special campaign all about grabbing your nuts. So basically the idea is, and the reason I was invited, is because testicular cancer is the most common in men. So they put on this really fun, light-hearted comedy night. It was honestly hilarious. Some of the comedy acts were amazing. I was in stitches all night and so is everyone else in the room saying whatever you call them, just make sure you feel them. So I was invited along with Matt so that we can tell everyone that we know, all men, and you guys can tell them to, to have a feel. If something doesn't feel right, go and get it checked out. And I'm going to go quickly show you one of the little flyers. They were everywhere around the venue so that you can tell the men in your life how to check or just remind them to check at least once a month. But it was such a good event. Matt is like the biggest peanut obsessive ever. Like we eat so many of them, particularly during Christmas time. So we had a nice drink. I had a gin and tonic. Matt had a beer and some peanuts. So it was a really good night. Sat with great people, great vibes. I'm here. This is the bottle and some of the girls had it in Thailand and it lights up. Oh, I've not charged this because I just got it. It's meant to light up and it like, it's a self-cleaning bottle. So I'm here on a gifted little press event. A brownie donut, it's amazing. Oh, wow. A brownie. Brownie donuts, oh my goodness. It smells so good in here. And these are the Christmas sets. You remember guys, a few weeks ago I went to an event with Purology to launch their Christmas set. And look, these are the Christmas cards that I designed. Oh, and they've all been printed. Oh my God, so these are my own Christmas cards that I printed, I'm shook.
So we used, you can hear a dog, we used this. 21 Essential Benefits by Pureology, and we also use this superfood treatment on my hair. So these are the Christmas gift sets that you might remember from the event I was at a few weeks ago. Look how beautifully illustrated they are. They're so different for Christmas. And this is a treatment that we just used on my hair. It smells so, so, so good. It's got avocado oil, coconut oil, silicone free, 100% vegan, and I actually use this at home as well. blow dry done it was a gifted press event that i went to with pureology can you believe that i made those christmas cards they are insane had a hair treatment with a superfood treatment and now i've got fresh hair so i'm now on a train whole carriage to myself apart from this one oh. um whole carriage to ourselves heading to yorkshire because i'm filming a very exciting advert tomorrow so i'm gonna do that as a different vlog start a new vlog tomorrow i think so thank you so much for watching this vlog i love this jumper my brother was like your jumper and coat are really nice i was like I know. Um, so yeah, we've got our Leon and we're going to do some work and head back home now. So it's been a very busy morning indeed. I got my water bottle from the Lark event. I was very late due to traffic so I actually only could do a bit of the spin class but I still did it. Um, and yeah, I've got a nice fresh blow dry and my hair feels very nice. So time to go home now and get lots of work done. So I will see you guys in the next vlog video live on Friday and Sunday.